Hello class, welcome back to another section of our intensive calculus course. In this course, we have taken a lot of topics already in our previous classes. In this particular class, we are going to continue higher order derivatives, but we will tackle a special theorem called the Leibniz theorem. In higher order derivative, I may mention that it just for you to differentiate a particular function for a number of times. So the first derivative means that is f prime. You differentiate with respect to the particular variable only once. Then you have f prime prime. You have f prime prime prime. Then f prime prime in that order. So depending on the number of times you've been asked to. But what if the function is a product? of two different functions so if i give you x e to the power x where i have y equals this function and ask you to differentiate it three times you're gonna get what this one is a product true which you are going to apply the differentiation product true so for the product true you know that this one you maintain it then you differentiate this one e to the power x plus I will differentiate this and I maintain this e to the power x. This is the first derivative. The second derivative is going to be I will differentiate this also as I will maintain this and I will differentiate this so x e to the power x then I will differentiate this and I will maintain this plus e to the power x then I will differentiate this also e to the power x giving me x e to the power x plus 2 e to the power x and this is my second derivative. So you realize that unlike the normal constant and polynomial functions which you can differentiate it severally and those are very simple as you have given you y is equal to 5x to the power 4 I'll just be multiplying this 20x to the power 3 60x to the power x squared in that order but in this case assuming you've been given a product of two functions where you have been asked to find six derivatives. In fact, it's going to be very stressful. So Leibniz brought about a theorem called the Leibniz theorem, where he said that d to the power n, where n is the number of times you've been asked to differentiate y, which is the function, should always be equal to the summation of r from zero to n, where this one is combination, applying the binomial expansion from elective mathematics so you have the r where r is what you have here then g is a function is your first function and the n minus r multiplying your second function so meaning you are going to differentiate the the first and the second separately then after you put it into this formula so let's take an example for you to see how we go about this so I have an example here in that it's saying find the third derivative of y is equal to x squared e to the power x. Y is equal to x squared e to the power x. So how do we go about this? We are finding the third derivative, meaning we have to find the first, you have to find the second, then you have to find the third. So applying the Leibniz term here, what you are going to do is you are going to take x squared separately as your g of x is equal to x squared. Then you take f of x to be equal to e to the power x. So once you get this, what you are going to do is you find g prime. Since you have been asked to find a third derivative. You find g prime of x and that will give us 2x. You find g prime prime of x, that will give us 2. Then you find g prime 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 of x, that will give us 0. And we are down for the g of x because you've been asked to find the third derivative. So you differentiate it three times. Then I'll come and take the f of x, which is e to the power x. When I find the f prime of x, I'm going to get e to the power x once again f prime prime of x i'll still get e to the power x then finally 
f prime 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 of x equals e to the power x. Now, putting this into the Leibniz theorem, what you are going to get is d3 of our function x squared e to the power x is simply equal to the summation from r equals 0 to 3. Then we bring our 3, 0 or 3, r depending on the r you have taken. Then we come to the r of x squared then multiplying the n minus r of my e to the power x. So once I have this, I move on splitting. This is summation. So we sum this product consistently until we exhaust our n. So from here, I said this is combination. So what you're going to do is, you saying the r, meaning r, we start from 0. From binomial expansion, we always start from 0, 1, 2 to the power, until we reach n. So taking r to be 0, I'm going to have the 0 of x squared multiplying the n, which is 3 minus 0, of e to the power x. And this thing here is the combination that, that is going to give us the coefficient of this term. And that is going to be 3 combination 0 plus our next second term is going to be 3 combination 1. Then always, once you write 3 combination 1, you put the 1 to the first d, d to the power 1 of x squared. Then the second one, d to the power, then you subtract 1 from 3, 2 of e to the power x. Then you come to our third term. Our third term will be r equals 2. So plus 3 combination 2, d to the power 2, that is second derivative of x squared, multiplying d n minus r. So n minus r will be 3 minus 2 of e to the power x. Then we move to our fourth derivative until our n is exhausted. So the last one is going to be plus 3 combination 3 d to the power 3 of x squared multiplying d to the power 3 minus 3 of e to the power x and that gives us our total expression so now let's go to our calculator and we punch 3 combination 0 so 3 combination 0 that is giving us 1 so we get 1 here 1 by the this to the power 0 is 1 so meaning we are not going to differentiate this so 1 by x squared multiplying this one is the third derivative of e to the power x and here is the same as e to the power x here so i just bring my e to the power x plus three combination one you punch on your calculator three combination one that is three so plus three then our third derivative for x squared that is 2x then this place is our second derivative of e to the power x which is still e to the power x then i come to my third term 3 combination 2 that is giving me another 3 so here 3 combination 2 is 3 multiplying the second derivative of x squared which is equal to what 2 multiplying the first derivative of e to the power x which is still e to the power x then finally we are getting plus 3 combination 3 which is 1 so 1 by the third combination and um, third derivative of x squared which is third co combination of sorry the third derivative of x squared which we found was equal to zero so zero multiplying then this place will be zero so we won't differentiate e to the power x so finally we 
simplify our expression straight away so here i'm going to get s squared e to the power x plus 6 x e to the power x plus 6 e to the power x then this place will be zero so now this gives us our third derivative of that product function applying Leibniz theorem is very simple i come again just take your r and your n you first write c then your three combination zero you start from zero here then if here is zero you subtract it from three for the second one like that it's very simple thank you for joining this class and if today is your first time joining this class don't forget to like subscribe and also share more examples will be solved in our future tutorials don't forget to join those classes